World of Warcraft, a game that defined a full generation of gamers. Released in 2004 and in 2024, 10 expansions later, it's still going. The game that brought our fantasies to life, a game that brought Dungeons and Dragons to life with a really good execution. Over the years, the game has upgraded a lot and because of that, the game has started giving us a lot other options to play it. For example, you can play Retail WoW, which is on the latest expansion, currently Dragonflight. A few years ago, the game gave us the option to go back to the original vanilla version of the game, Classic WoW. Currently, you can also play Cataclysm, you can play Hardcore WoW, you can play an attempt for Blizzard to be cool again with Miss of Pandaria Remix. And last year, Blizzard also announced this. Add some unique flavor with a seasonal note and a dash of discovery. Season of Discovery is vanilla wow with a spicy twist. Let me give you some context. Why this announcement struck me differently. In 2019, a friend of mine showed me a server that was giving you a classless wow experience. The game was giving you random abilities. You can roll them. You can choose whatever ability you want to save. You don't want to save. I stopped playing that game mode because a few weeks after I found that mode, Classic was launched and I went to play Classic. Whenever this announcement was made, it was struck differently because I went back in time. I automatically gained the expectation in my head that Blizzard are gonna do something like this. And because it's Blizzard, I thought the execution would be flawless. I hoped to season of discovery and I was disappointed. I was disappointed because my expectations were not met. Yeah, in theory, you can tank as a warlock now, you can tank as a rogue, you can heal as a mage, but this is not truly classless WoW for me. And just to give it credit to Blizzard, they never explicitly said classless WoW. But as a fan, as a person who knows what is out there, I was disappointed, so I decided to see what is Blizzard missing in the process of creation of this mode. Just a little disclaimer, at the beginning I really didn't want to leave the official servers of World of Warcraft and I didn't want to encourage the making of private servers. But with the time in my YouTube feed, a bunch of trailers about Ascension have popped out and I decided to give it a go. So my journey begins. I created a character and the process honestly is pretty simple. You don't have to choose a class. The only thing you have to choose is how your champion is gonna look like. So I chose an undead, I chose a silly ass name and I jumped right into it. I'm not gonna lie, in the beginning I was a little bit overwhelmed. Dude, there is... Okay, this is... this is confusing. Dark Ranger, Storm Giant. Interesting. Leveling builds. Two-hand manhood enjoyer. There are a lot of new chunky menus into this game that I'm not aware of, but I was sure that with the time everything is gonna be explained to me. For example, this is a big ass menu that in theory it's hard to understand, but actually it's pretty simple. Here you have every single class, you have every single spec and talent tree for this spec and you have every ability for that spec. You have the currency which you need to buy spells, you have a currency that you need to buy talents. Each currency you earn through leveling. With that being said, I was a little bit afraid to enter in that mode because my chat insisted that they want to see a build that is custom by me and I knew very well that that when it comes to creativity in games, I'm not really creative. I just want to have fun time. But I tried my best. I chose Charge, Judgment and Shadow Word Pain initially, which I replaced with Serpent Sting. A crazy ass combination for a person that wants to be agile, strong, brawler and also have the ability to shoot sometimes when he has to. A little bit strange because Basically, I want to mix a little bit of Paladin, a little bit of Warrior, a little bit of Hunter, a little bit of Rogue. It was a combination that in theory, maybe I'm not going to be able to complete, but I decided to give it a go. And also on the topic of menus, 
right when I get out from that cave, I stumbled upon this guy and I just wanted to share with you about this guy. In World of Warcraft, you have achievements and basically this is the way of the game telling you, wow, you did something good. Congratulations. Whenever you're level 80 or whenever you have done a lot of raids and PvP stuff, you have, for example, 13,000 achievement points and you can flex with these points on your friends and stuff like that. But in this game, you have this guy who is showing you trials and challenges. How cool is that? The game encourages you to actually take a trial or a challenge for a bunch of reward, not just an achievement. The game itself encourages you to play it in a different way with a little bit more tweaks and swirls. So I hopped into the world without going into trials and challenges or anything fancy. I just wanted to explore my build and I'm telling you, I had fun. I cannot explain to you how fun it is to actually enjoy pressing every single button. From level 1 to level 10, the process of leveling was super fast but I enjoyed killing every single mob on my way. And by the way, I chose my build and with the time I was slowly building it up and I was choosing strange talents and all of that but if you're afraid you also have the option to follow another build that it's already there and a lot of people in this community obviously have take out of their time to make these builds and probably they're working for them probably they're fun so maybe down the line I'll try one of these custom builds. We're reaching level 10 and for a lot of players level 10 means something very simple. You can go to battlegrounds and also you can start doing dungeons. I'm gonna start with the dungeons. You can go to every single dungeon because everything is scaling. The levels are scaling in the outer world and in the dungeon as well. It cannot get any better actually. So my experience is that we were going through every single mob and boss and it was pretty easy. It was super chaotic. It was fun. I'm soloing stuff. Anything goes, literally anything goes. It's so much fun, but it was straightforward. It was nothing more different than an actual dungeon experience. With the battleground though, I went into a battleground. I prefer playing PVP, but here I had a blast. Easy peasy. I never expect in a while to be fun again. I had a blast because you cannot expect any ability from your allies. You cannot expect any abilities from your enemies. The enemies cannot expect what you have in store. And it's so fun. How am I supposed to deal with it? Oh! Every time you kill an enemy, you gain XP. Please, a little bit more. Let's go! I leveled up. I have leveled so many levels just because of the fact that I was in the battleground. It was so fun. I had a blast. I don't know if I won or lost and I didn't care. It was so much fun. Unfortunately, my adventure kind of ended on level 33. Ended for this video. Offline, I'm going to continue playing because honestly, I have the time on my life on this server because I can experiment with everything. The fact that you level up, you can always tweak your build, tweak your talent talents to explore but this is not everything that the server offers this is just one realm that is giving you the classless option there is another realm that is heavily played this is giving you another classless option and let's not talk even about the other nine realms that are in development that are giving you the opportunity to explore the game in a totally different aspect with some other tweaks I never wanted to do a promotion for a private server, but for weeks and months I was expressing my disappointment from Season of Discovery. And all I was meeting was hatred from people who are liking Season of Discovery and how some raid is done right and some dungeon is doing good. My problem with Season of Discovery was fundamental. My problem with Season of Discovery was that expectations were not met, the expectations were not even met with the execution, even in my opinion for players who are not aware what is going on out there in the private server's world. In my opinion, it's a little bit sad that Blizzard low-key scammed their fan base, and honestly, their fan base is okay with that because they just don't know better. A lot of players that are playing in the official servers don't want to hear about private servers. And I was one of these people for a long time. But there are always other options, fellow players. And if you really want to experience an actual classless WoW, I think I know a place.
I think this is everything from me for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you next time. Peace.